you guys. I'm back. So, we had a little thing yesterday. Let me go over what happened. And y'all can say you reacted, it's fine. You know, I even feel a little silly. I feel like I came back to the office looking like a dumb, dumb, dumb. Um, yesterday, I was at work. And I work inside a small office park now. Like, um, we used to have our own, you know, self-standing office. But it just didn't make sense because, like I said, most of our customers are referral-based now. Um, and it just, just didn't make sense for us to be having an office. Like a brick and mortar where people walk in when people weren't walking in. So, um, we moved into an office, like a, a business park. Um, you walk in, there's a long hallway, both sides of the hallways, there's offices. Um, as soon as you walk in, left-hand side, there's stairs to go upstairs. So, it's an identical setup of stairs as well, long hallway. Um, now these offices, it's an office, it gets it done, you know, it's not like it's top of the line, tier. Um, so it's not like perfect, you know, like the flooring and everything, you know, like it's, it's a little flimsy. Like you can hear it upstairs the way they walk. There's not, there's not proper insulation and stuff like that. So yesterday I was here at work. I want to say 1130, 11 maybe. The doctor, the, the office next door, he's a therapist. He was in session. We hear a loud bang. Like, so in the office here, because the way it's not properly insulated and everything, it's, it sounds like echoey as well. And this loud bang sounds like it's a plastic, like you get a plastic bag filled up with air, you know, you twist it, it's a big old, big old bag of air, and you pop it, boom. Okay, that's what it was like. A minute or two later, another one. But it's like towards the front of the office. And it sounds like it's going upstairs. A minute or two later, another one. A minute or two later, another one. By the fourth one, the psychiatrist, he was in session. And these walls are so thin. I, can, I can't hear the conversation, but I can hear when they're like talking. They're quiet. His session stops. Five, maybe 10 minutes. Anywhere between five and ten minutes, we hear another one, but it's like right above us. So it's a little muffled. Um, and a minute or two later, we, I want to say, to two minutes to five, the other one. I caught my husband. Because upstairs, there's always activity. Always activity. Okay, and because these. Division is not built correctly. It, um, you can hear, I can hear them. It, it sounds like horses going back and forth upstairs, you know, because they have their heels on. It's clackety, clack, 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 clack. It's not, okay, it's not like the Devil Wars Prada where it's like the clackers. No, it's stomping because they have their heels on and everything. And, um, I call my husband and I'm like, hey, I'm whispering because. The psychiatrist, he's not even talking. It's quiet. And I explained to my husband, but I did I did turn off the light to my office. I explained to my husband. I was like, hey, you know, I explained everything to him, what's going on. And he's like, and he's like, was the psychiatrist? The psychiatrist so quiet? I said, yes. And we hear two more same thing a couple of minutes apart he hears it too and he's like text 911 you know don't be on the phone don't hang up with him text 911 and i'm like no i was like because what if i'm like what if they're just doing something upstairs he's like well do you hear anything upstairs? i said no i don't i said i just hear those loud bangs and he's like he's like just text them and i was like no i don't want to like 
And so at this point, I show him the psychiatrist. He doesn't, he's not talking to his patient, but he is talking to him. Like this was, he was talking to someone on the phone, but it was at first like, like low voices, a low voice. And so I texted the manager to the location and said, hey, I said, there's a lot of loud noises. You know, can you see what's going on? And I knew he wasn't at the office, but I was hoping he could just can't contact someone here at the office. And so he goes, he's like, I'm like 15 minutes away. Um, I'll be there and see what's going on. And so um, like five minutes pass and then the psychiatrist and his patients start talking. So I'm asking my husband, I said, I think everything's fine. I was like, I think the psychiatrist got a hold of someone. I was like, because they're talking, they're in session again. And I was like, I'm done. I, I, my anxiety was crazy. I just don't understand how like these people are, are so inconsiderate because it's not only that they walk on heels upstairs like clackers. I have my own office where I don't have to deal with customers every day, every single minute of the day. But the neighbor, my neighbor, is a psychiatrist. They're in session. Imagine if that cut, that that patient had some sort of PTSD and he's hearing all that. And then on top of that, school ended. They bring their kids to school. They bring their kids to the office. So my husband's are like, pack your stuff, work from home, go home, just go home, it's done. And so I did, I get my stuff. And as I was leaving, the manager shows up. And I was like, yeah, I'm not even talking to you. And so um, I sent him a text, because he texted me and he's like, oh, everything's fine. Um, you know, sorry for the false alarm. And I sent him a text message. I was like, it wasn't a false alarm. I was like, it was, it was, um, inconsiderate. I was like, because I was like, we're underneath the offices upstairs and for them to be making those loud noises, especially noises without even notifying us, hey, we're doing this kind of work or whatever, or what, or whatever kind of work you were doing. And I was like, you know, for, for them to do that was very unprofessional. So he calls me and he's all like, Oh, he's all like, um, I know. And so I, not only that, I told him, I was like, it was very unprofessional. I was like, it made me very anxious. It made me very upset. I was like, because I was not sure what that noise was. I was all like, I had to go home for the day. And so he calls me and he's like, oh, he's like, you know, I'm sorry. He's like, you can come back. I said, no, no, no. I was all like, I'll be back. I was all like, I'll be back tomorrow. I said, but I'm done for the day. I was all like, maybe I don't realize how loud the noises are upstairs being i was like he goes well it was because they were picking up boxes of paper and boxes of paper it comes with like 10 rooms of paper in the box so they have these plastic things that are wrapped around the boxes so you can help carry it well they were lifting it by that plastic and then they're instead of placing it on the floor they were throwing it on the floor and they did that every couple of minutes because it was so heavy as they were going up the stairs and then same thing when they came over here, they picked the, they, they slid it. And then because the office to the hallway has like a little divider, they can't just like push it over. So they had to pick it up and drop it. Pick it up and drop it. Take me on that side of the office, pick it up and drop it. And I was like, do you, I was like, okay. I said, just so you understand. I was like, I understand this could be like blown out of proportion. I said, but it honestly sounded like gunshots. And I said, it, it was very nerve wracking. I said, like, the, the office next door, he's a therapist. I said, yeah, I should know this because I rent this, this office out to him. And he was in session. And yeah, we're doing that. I said, on top of that, you'll be walking back and forth. Whoever's walking, I said, every woman up there wears heels every day and we can hear it. I said, on top of that, they bring their kids now. I was like, it's a very, very unprofessional for you to, have a, for you to run a business office that way. I said, oh, I'll, I'll, talk, to the, I'll talk to the women upstairs. And um, I said, that's fine. I said, well, I said, thank you for clarifying what it was. And that was the end of it. But I know it wasn't like, my husband says, you know, it's, you weren't being crazy or anything. He was like, it's better to be safe than sorry. Because God, you know, like only knows the way things are these days where like everything, something's always happening. And it did, it freaked me out.
so much like i know at the end of the school year i always tell my kids you know if you hear puppy noises don't be a hero run run if you can run as fast as you can um like if you can't run like get as low as you possible and hide like hide hide you know if you can break a window get the f out um but it it's i'm not gonna lie i was very scared and my husband he texted me this morning he was like how are you feeling because i was i was very shaken up yesterday like i i know i know now like i knew when i left that you know it wasn't nothing but it's like everything nowadays is so you can never be too careful so that was my little scary thing of the day yesterday i don't know but hi <laughs> bye